What's happening, y'all? Shake Cash back at you with another video, and I'm going to hit y'all off with this one. Black men have to earn black women, but black women don't have to do anything for black men. Now, when we hear this thing that we as black men in America have to earn black women, what do they mean we have to earn them? We have to show them that we are interested. We have to show them that we are valuable, that we are a high value man. You know, we have to show them that what we've been in the gym, we got money, we got resources, we got our own place, we got our stuff together, right? And this is so, so crazy. I don't understand how is this going to work. But we have to do every damn thing to earn them. All of this self-improvement, spitting game, telling jokes, making her laugh. We have to entertain her. But they feel that they ain't got to do nothing but sit there, look pretty, have a fat ass, and then a man just falls in their lap. Right? They feel like they don't have to entertain us. They don't have to make us laugh. They don't have to be in shape. They don't have to change their attitude. They feel like they don't have to change a damn thing about them. It's all take me as I am or nothing at all. This is what's going on. And how that shit going to work? How is that going to work? we got to do all of these things and have all of this stuff according to the America status for what a black man should have. Should be an entrepreneur, have millions in the bank, have his own crib, cars, etc. We have to have all of that. But black women don't have to be in shape, be feminine. Be nice, be respectful, you know, know how to be respect people. They feel like they don't have to do anything. They feel like they can just have this little nasty little attitude, chip on the shoulder, arrogance, ego, pride, thinking no man is not worth their damn kind of attitude. And they feel like they don't have to do anything. They can just sit there, look over at you at the bar, and don't feel like they don't have to approach you. They feel like they can't approach you because it's too much pride on the line. Even if they think you fine as hell and they matter, they still not going to approach you because that's the way they feel and this is the way they've been brainwashed that they don't have to put in any kind of effort into getting you. But you got to do every damn thing for them. What? You got to step your game up. You got to upgrade. You got to choose better. You got to do better. I don't see a damn thing, no kind of evidence, no concrete proof for me to do better or for black men to do better for black women out here. Because most of them don't even know how to even talk to a damn man. Most of them don't even know how to keep a man interested. This is the sad part of this reality in our world. They can't even show you five minutes of interest of a good, solid conversation. Matter of fact, they can't even show you a solidarity for you to what? To listen. You know, just listen as you talk. Like if you're talking about history or anything like that. They can't even have an ear to hear that. Or you tell the truth about something and they agree with it. Anything they disagree with, they I, I don't, you know, they get mad. Anything that they disagree with. And you're going to have some disagreements. See what I'm saying? You got to do all of this talking and they just supposed to sit there and receive and then if they got an ear to hear, they're like, you know what? I don't know nothing about that. Can you tell me more? They feel like they can't have their own input in or have a real conversation with you. That's what's going to keep you interested. But they don't even know how to do that. Even with the guys they want, they don't even know how to show real interest in them. Then talking about a high value man. He got to be this and got to be that. And you get to sit on your ass and don't do nothing. How is this going to work? They don't have to do nothing, bring nothing to the table. Doesn't the Bible call them what? A helpmate? And they talking about they ain't got to do shit? 
called you a help me? You supposed to be helping? I ain't telling you to work hard and, and go hard like me. But ain't you supposed to be helping? Don't you supposed to give this man a reason to want to be with you? Well, most of them can't even do that. Then they want to write every relationship go bad. And they keep failing. Because they feel like they ain't got to do nothing. They, they want a man for off the strength of nothing. Putting in no kind of work. No kind of effort. And guys just hand this shit to them. I'm not going to hand a woman something that ain't showed me interest off the jump. Period. She can't show you no real interest and conversate with you and ask you all kind of questions and be really interested in you. Hell no. Nah. She ain't doing nothing to earn you. And really get to know you. That's what it's about showing that you're interested. Really getting to know someone. They don't need all to do that shit. Even when you disagree with they like you that much, you're going to have some disagreements. She's still going to like you. But then they'll, uh, what they do, uh, if they, uh, what you call it, disagree with you, and what they do? They stop liking you. What kind of shit is that? So you don't want to earn me anyway. This is what's going on, man. It's, it's a very, very sad road here in America, man. Everything is unnatural, off balance. It's just all fucked up. And they feel like that they this is going to work. Do nothing. Don't do nothing. Kids and all. Out of shape, out of, out of the prime. Face starting to age, hitting the wall. And they supposed to, a man just supposed to just hand himself over. It ain't going to work like that because you had your chances. You had plenty of chances from 18 to, to at least by late 20s. You had your chance. You had your time to shine. You had at least, what, 10 years under your belt. From 18 to 28, you had it. And now you still got, think you got that mindset where you ain't got to earn them. Uh-uh. You're going to have to get out here and earn just like everybody else. If a man got to earn something, you got to do it too. That's why they call you a helpmate. But you don't understand it, but you do. But you don't want to because you feel like that's a burden, huh? I know. I know you don't have to do nothing. I know I bought this girl, you know, today. When I went to work, I bought this girl a breakfast or whatever. It was just me being nice. You know, I just did it because I want to. She ain't, she, she ain't peer pressure me, so don't get it twisted. So, you know, she like, oh, well, man got to pay for my time and all of this stuff. You know, and I pull out my wallet. You know, I had some, I got money in my wallet. You know, she was all in my wallet. Oh, you got all that money. You didn't have to break no 20. Why are you all in my wallet? They feel like that they just, you know, it was just me being nice. They feel like, you know, they can just get a man, just do something for them, and they just sit there and don't do nothing. See what I'm talking about? And then unthankful when they do get you without any strength or nothing because they think that they all that. They got another man right around the corner willing to hand off his hard work and his success to them. This is very sad, man. This is what they feel like. Yeah, he got to he got to pay for my time. And then the guy said in the uh, breakfast line, I said, "You don't bump her. She don't bump her head." No, man, ain't got to pay for. I said, I said, girl, I said it cost zero dollars for for time. Zero dollars for a conversation. Zero. Zero. I don't know if she was playing or not. But see, this is what's going on in their mind. They feel like they ain't got to earn no man because of what? The media. And guess what the media is doing? Fucking them up. Every time they listen to this white supremacy media, they keep listening to, it's going to fuck their mind up and it's going to mess their lives up. So, fellas, don't y'all worry about that. Let these, let these elite white folks mess their mind up and have them all fucked up in their lives when they ain't got no man or nobody. Let them, keep, let them keep putting their witchcraft on. That's all they doing. Putting their witchcraft on them, tearing their mind, they're having their mind bad when they go out here. It ain't really like that. They think that they ain't got to do nothing. Then they wind up not trying to do nothing for no man. What did the man do? Leave them. Don't want to be with them or either just screw them. Do enough screw them a couple times. And they be like, man, damn, she, she ain't got nothing for me to, uh, me to work with. 
She can't show me no real interest, man. She ain't cool. That's what go on. But with that, man, this is just some real shit that's been going on, man. I see it all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, with me, I done retired out of the dating. I done hung my jersey up. My jersey is hung up high up in the Raptors. I ain't coming out of retirement. This ain't Michael Jordan. I ain't coming out trying to win no three, trying to win more championships just to get some woman. No. Everything I'm doing to this point right now and all my goals is for me and for my son, to help my son. That is it. But with that, guys, thank you, and I'm out.